Hi, this is Rivka, and I'm going to do a real quick tutorial on how to include your Facebook, Twitter, or other social media links in your email campaign in MailChimp. This is a question I get from a lot of my clients who are using MailChimp, so let me show you how it works. You'll notice I'm already logged into MailChimp, and I've gone to Create Campaign and already gone through the steps of adding my recipients, doing my setup for my email, and now I'm in choosing a template. Now, with the drag or drop system in MailChimp, you can use any of these templates and still add your social media buttons to it. We're just going to use the column one as an example to show you how it works. Now, as you may know, in your social media uh, templates, you can do two different types of social media, the social share or social follow. Social share allows people to click within the email and then share the email content itself with their social media networks, whereas social follow allows them to click on the links in your email and go to your social media accounts, whether that be Facebook, Twitter, etc. When you drag and drop the social follow element, which is what I would typically recommend, into your email, then it becomes an editable box. I can click on edit and I can change any of the information here. I can change which social media platforms I'm showing, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc., all the way down to Snapchat, and uh, it has most of the major platforms. I can also delete one if I don't want one of these in my list of social media elements. So let's say I didn't want to put a Facebook page, I could delete it. Or if I didn't want my website, I can delete that. If I want to add a new one, I just click Add Another Service, and then go up here and we can then select. You'll see they have a lot more even than what shows up immediately. Let's put Facebook back in. Now, if you've entered this in before, it'll automatically pull the information that you've entered and used previously, but if you haven't used anything before, it's going to be blank. Now, in order to put the usernames in here, I just have to grab the URL from the, the correct account. So, for example, here's my Facebook account, facebook.com forward slash beautiful books. If you don't have a specific URL for your Facebook page, we'll cover how to do that in a separate tutorial. But in this case, I can just copy and paste that link directly into my Facebook page URL. Now, I also need to grab my Twitter, so I'm going to go over here. Your Twitter URL is always going to be twitter.com forward slash whatever your handle is. In this case, be books for kids. Okay, we're going to copy and paste that over into the Twitter URL. And now this is the link text. That is, if they have their images turned off, what are they going to see instead of these two in images? So we can put, instead of just Twitter, we can put follow on Twitter. And instead of Facebook, we could put something like like our Facebook page. So this is what they will see if they don't have images turned on in their email address. There's nothing that you can do about that to save or to change that. That's about their settings on their end. So making sure that you have the link text made to something that's going to encourage them to interact is really important. We can also reorder it. Let's say our Facebook page is really more important. I can drag that up and put it on the top. Now once you're all done with this, you can click save and close, and then that's all finished and set up for you. Now if you want to be able to use those again, just click save as template, and then you'll have it available as a template for you to use in a later email.